Howdy everybody, Keith Warren here and you're about to see one of our behind the scene vlogs. Okay, everybody, we are at the Austin airport. We just got our boarding passes and are fixing to get all five of our bags checked in. We've got our passports, so we are heading international. And this happens to be my favorite type of hunting. So, uh, ready to get on the plane and get this hunt started. It's unlikely, but if cabin pressure changes, the panels above your seat will open, revealing oxygen masks. If this well, we just landed in Minneapolis. I'm gonna let Maddie tell you about her neighbor. So our three hour flight was lovely. Um, I had a very nice neighbor. He wasn't bad, but he kept falling asleep and like all the way on me the whole flight. Like nothing would wake him up. The stewardess would come by. He dropped his phone. He had alarms going off on his phone. He was out. I was kind of jealous. I wanted to sleep that hard. Anyway, <clears throat> I get on the airplane and normally I'm, I'm sitting there and if there's an open chair next to me, I'm looking at everybody coming in. It's like, okay, that's a little human. That's a little human. And all of a sudden, one about 450 will come in. It's like, and I know where they're coming. They're coming to sit right next to me. So anyway, man, he had a real sleeper sitting next to her. All right, so we're into our uh, second day here, trying to get up to uh, where we're going bear hunting. And uh, there's nobody in the airport. We wound up, we got in late last night up into Saskatoon, and then uh, we are heading right now to uh, Wollaston, and then to Points North, where they pick us up, and then uh, in that float plane, and we're going someplace we've never been before, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, right now, uh, there's nobody in the airport, as you can see, and uh, Johnny's on his phone, and Maddie's on her computer, and I'm sitting back here thinking, I don't know what we got ourselves into. We're fixing to find out. Hey, Maddie. Hmm. How about telling everybody what happened the last time we were in this airport? The Warrens almost got in a fist fight a couple of times. Um, we had just gone up to Great Gray and hunted bear and waterfowl. After a very long, fun trip, we came to the airport and thought it was going to be pleasant. But just see what happened. It's crazy. Have you ever booked airline ticket and then... Uh... When you get to the counter to go home, they tell you that it's been broken, but they didn't tell you it was broken. Anyway, we've been sitting here about 20 minutes trying to figure out if they can unbreak it. Hopefully we can get on the airplane this morning and go home. Okay, you're, I'm really trying to keep from losing my, you know what? They finally figured out what's going on and they screwed up somehow. Oh, I'm sorry. We've been, we've been sitting here in a half hour and so all of a sudden we're weighing in our, our bags and we're two kilograms over the weight. This is, we've been waiting here in a half hour while they messed up. Two kilograms over the weight. This is how much they love hunters. And looky here, is you ever heard of wanton waste? Well, this is two kilograms because they refuse to let us have it on the airplane. So this is what we're doing, coming over here. Trash. Anyway, that kind of chaps me to no end. I'm not allowed to take video? You're not allowed. That's really? I can't take video. Uh oh. I guess they're gonna call the principal again. Okay, please call security. All right, so I've got to tell you something here. I am absolutely uh, about on the edge of losing my, you know what? Uh, and I got to just, I got to keep in mind these people don't like hunters. They don't want hunters. They don't give a two. So, excuse me. Beep about hunters. I'm sitting here, we got up and we were at the Delta ticket counter for uh, over a half hour. Uh, they screwed up on the on the tickets uh, uh, and, and didn't let us know they screwed up. Then they wound up, uh, we were two kilograms, four pounds and something, one goose over the weight. And so they decided that uh, we had to throw the goose away and I wasn't very happy about that. And so I filmed a video of it and then they weren't happy with me making a video of it. And so they came and said that we're gonna get security. And I said, well, you get security. And all of a sudden it's like, okay, maybe I don't wanna do this. 
So anyway, I'm sitting here now. Uh, I got to be really careful because he said that the Canadians, every Canadian has to consent if they're going to be on camera. So anyway, the, uh, I'm just really kind of chapped about this whole deal. And uh, for whatever reason, they're, um, I don't know, I'm just kind of short tempered. Hopefully get through here without too much bull crap. All right, they don't uh, accept our bags. We have to go check them ourselves. Which, where do we go check our bags? We followed the orange arrows is all on the pole, so hopefully they're not setting me up for some plot to do. Okay, we're being punished. How do you like this, Maddie? Tell everybody what you think of Delta. We will never be buying Delta again, ever. I'm like shaking, I'm so... Beautiful. I am too. We have just cleared customs in Minneapolis. When you have a uh, when you have a choice of who to fly with, you may want to consider if you're a hunter, you may want to consider other choices besides the friendly folks over at Delta, at least in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Because let me tell you something, they were not real friendly. So this time things are going a whole lot more smooth, and thank goodness there's nobody in the airport but us. All right, so after another long wait. Wound up over fixing the board this flight right here, and apparently, this flight goes a while and stops. It goes a while and stops. So, anyway, we uh, I can tell you right now that uh, it's a long way up here, and I just hope the bear hunting's worth it. I know one thing if you're gonna kill a big bear, you gotta go where the big bears are. So it's taking us pretty much all day to get up here and uh, this is the airport and we're waiting on the bags right now. The weather is bad. We were going to take a float plane back into camp. I uh, wish it would be in a, a little short flight, but we got about a two and a half hour drive now because the weather's bad. All right, so, uh, hey man, we're doing a vlog. You can't use that word. Can't he use that word? Anyway, that's Mark. Mark is big spruce outfitting. And that, Maddie and then behind us, uh, where'd they go? Anyway, we're up here in the uh, northern part of Saskatchewan and it's damn cold. I mean, really cold. It's not going to get warm this bad, it's going to be all week, right Mark? Right now, man. Nice. Bear hunting. We just got hit by a rainstorm so we had to put on some of Mark's rain gear and uh, old Papa Warren. Missed the rainstorm trying to put this on. It took me freaking ever to get this on. <laughs> and now it stopped raining. Anyway, I didn't know you had that thing on. You know, this they don't have a set of rain suit for a guy that's got a big butt. <laughs> anyway, but he says I look good in it, right? Yep, looks great. All right, we're going to go check out a bear bag right now. Hopefully I got my rain suit on right. Well, we just went and checked a couple of baits. Hopefully we're going to get to fish here for a little while. And then we have a shore lunch. Uh, we cook what we catch. And then we're going to go sit out in the bear woods, which are all around us. Like, I've bear hunted. It'll be my fourth time. But I've never bear hunted where it's this beautiful. And you've got the best of both worlds when it comes to fishing and hunting. And it's remote. Extremely remote. I think that's the part about it that I like the most up here. I mean... There, it, there's not anybody else up here. I mean, Mark has got this place, and uh, so far we've seen a lot of bear signs. A lot of bear. A lot of bear poop, and a lot of it had oats in it, which means they've been eating the bait. He's baiting with oats, so that is a very good sign. So anyway, we're hanging out, having fun. So we're out here killing some time fishing, and. Oh, oh, dead gummit. Look at there. I hate it when that happens. Here, I, got, I hate it when that happens. I got to reel this fish in. All right, so we went fishing this morning. Uh, caught a fish, and uh, we wound up or having a shore lunch now. Mark is back over there. He's got some potatoes already on, and uh, they've been cleaning the fish up, and we're going to eat lunch, and then... Go to the bear woods. Oh, we're in the bear woods. Matter of fact, I want to show you all something. See that barrel over my shoulder right there? That's a bear bait, an active bear bait. 
and I think they got plenty of stuff to smell around here now so anyway that's what we're doing for lunch all right so this is my first sit I've got uh, I'm hunting alone I'll show you my setup I'm in a really cool looking area overlooking a kind of like a shoreline it's pretty open and there's a lake out in front of me got a camera on my shoulder right here I got a little GoPro on my shoulder right there and uh, this little bracket right here on the camera is hampy look at that and that is not good I like it to be stable but I because of weight situation on the airplane I couldn't bring up a, a big tree arm so I borrowed one from Mark the outfitter and meanwhile Maddie is uh, about six miles away She's at a place they call Red Rock. And uh, hopefully she does some good. But uh, anyway, we've got six days up here and I'm having a ball. This is some pretty stuff, don't you think? Tell everybody morning. Morning, everybody. It's day three in northern Saskatchewan. We are fixing to go fish, check some bear bait, and then we'll have a shore lunch if we catch anything. After the shore lunch, we head to the bear stand. So we sat out a uh, day before yesterday, saw nothing, sat out yesterday for about 12 hours and saw a little bear. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a sow, but no shooters. We had a guy in camp last night shoot one, so we're going to keep our fingers crossed. The weatherman said it was going to be terrible weather, but it's actually a pretty nice day. So, Yep, so this is day three and... Uh... Uh, like Maddie said, the weatherman was calling for just some terrible weather, but we woke up and it's pretty nice. Anyway, uh, you can see the boat is loaded up with gear, and it's got to be because once you leave out of camp, there's our camp up here, the hill behind us. Once you leave out of camp for the day, you don't come back until dark, and it doesn't get dark. 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 It doesn't get dark up here this time of year, I should say. I mean, uh, it gets uh, kind of dusky, but it doesn't get dark. And there's Johnny, Mr. Knapp. <laughs> okay, so yesterday I was up in a tree. Okay, I'm gonna step over here so we can get all y'all on there. I was up in a tree yesterday for about 10 hours, okay? Strapped to a tree and I didn't see anything. And Maddie and Johnny, they got cut on the ground, okay? Maddie, tell, tell. okay, it's hard to nap when you're in the tree. Now I wound up, I tightened up where I could, literally I could maybe doze off a little bit, wouldn't fall out. Maddie, how many naps you take? One. How long was it? Probably 30 minutes, an hour. And how about Johnny? What did Johnny do? He napped all day. Five, Five naps? Yeah. Yep. Right throughout the day. And, and, and uh-oh, here comes, well, there he goes now. We scared him off. That's Mark. Mark is the badass up here. He's the guy that uh, runs this thing. So anyway, if you come up here and you hear about a, a, a guy, uh, he was actually Mr. October in the girls' magazine back uh i think was it 2017 maddie no actually it was last year 2018. 2018 there he is mr october coming down here in the girls magazine come on down here that's what he posed in mark okay i'm gonna turn this camera around so you can get a good close look at him there he is mr <laughs> october ready mr october let's go kill some bears get her done your mojo you just didn't bring it along with you <laughs> it's a trout yeah it's a good trout too so you heard, you heard how to release them yes. then, right Maddie? smile okay. 